Hello people and welcome back to Coron Dashcam channel. First things first, I have to say that we are approaching the end of an amazing year and we wish you a happy new year. Of course, today we prepared a really epic episode and it's gonna be a best of from all the craziest moments captured on Drivers Dashcam from this year. So make sure to stick around for this one and enjoy. crazy guy who tried to steal a toolbox from a truck and this is how it all played out. Crazy road rage in which one driver got out of his car and he made sure to take his anger out on another vehicle. Surveillance camera caught something rather interesting. In this video we have a bike thief who tried his best to get his hands on a bike and he didn't give up until he managed to do so. Check out how the whole situation took place and hopefully you might recognize the thief. guy who caused an accident but instead of apologizing he immediately tried to shift the blame on the camera check this one out Person inside the car. They went. 
This video shows how dangerous traffic can get at times and why it's really important to have a dash cam in your vehicle. If it wasn't for the dash cam, the camera might have easily been scammed by an insurance scammer. Root driver brake checked these bikers for no reason at all and it almost came to a rear end accident. But the situation didn't end there and the bikers confronted him at the next traffic lights. Check out how it all turned out. Two drivers were having way too much fun for their own good at the parking lot. They were doing drifts and all sorts of crazy things, when all of a sudden it came to a head-on collision between the two due to misunderstanding. Check this one out. Believe it or not, but our camera got hit at the drive-thru because the lady in front of him started to reverse without looking at her rearview mirrors. I have no idea how she thought that it would be a good idea to do so, but oh well, here we are. Pay close attention at the developments that are about to unfold in this video. A pickup truck driver dangerously pulled out onto the road without bothering to look and that caused the scene a really bad one. With a crazy road rage between a Darren and the bikers. Check this one out. Yo guys, I have your fun, I don't really care, but we got seven year old kids living on this street. If you're out here running around playing, you guys fly up and down this road. We were going 20, 30. <laughs> no, you weren't. I can right, now? right now? Yeah. We're going no, we dude, I'm telling you, everybody's I mean, we flying to, up and down the street. We can get the but we got it on dash cam. We got it on dash cam. Just do me a favor. Please. We literally have a 50 or a 300cc with us. We can't go that fast. I'm just telling you. And I'm just it's telling always, you. It's always up and down the street, people flying up and down here when you guys come down here. We just literally went 30 miles an hour, and I have it on my I'm dash cam. I'm just telling you. I mean, okay. There's, there's little kids. That's all I'm asking. I don't care. Have fun. I, I don't give a shit. Just have, well, have clearly fun. you do. Be safe. We were going 30 miles an hour down the hill. You want to keep running your mouth, we can solve it. 
So I'll be like, what? You're coming over here I'm to my friend's you to property. I'm asking drive slowly down the hill. We got little kids on we the street. We were going 30 miles an hour. That's all I ask. All right, it's man. not. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not. Okay. And you're not going slow. You then going call slow. the cops. I can show them my footage. Don't cuss them over ass, guy. What's that? Don't cuss them over ass. <laughs> Whoa, what are you going to do? God just stopped. You came to us. You came to me. Don't drink and drive guys, nothing good comes out of it. I mean, just look at this guy who hit the trash can. There's a reason we always tell you not to run a red light, people, because the risk is way too high. Karen, who got a bit upset at the biker for filtering, but check out how the biker reacted. Good for you. You have a nice day, ma'am. You have a good day. Cameron was just riding around and enjoying a nice day, but all of a sudden, an SUV tried to cut in front of an 18-wheeler and struck the driver's side from the bumper. This caused him to lose control of his vehicle and ultimately hit the guardrail. Oh shit! Oh my god! Pay close attention at the driver in a yellow car. He was not paying attention at the road, and because of that, he hit the road fence. Okay, Carmen. Here we have an impatient driver who didn't bother checking at the traffic in front of him and it almost came to a rear end accident since he expected the driver in front to move through the red light. Nothing too important happened after the accident. The police arrived, they made a report. The pickup truck driver didn't receive any damage to his vehicle, but he was at fault. describes a hominid creature created by extraterrestrial beings.
crazy road rage, and it all escalated because of a zipper merge. Check out how this angry old grandpa reacted. Hey, you know what? pedestrian who got out of control as he was moving in and out of traffic like a madman. Check this one out. with a careless UPS driver who rear-ended a parked vehicle. Pickup truck driver tried to get his way in front of another vehicle, but his timing was off, way off, and he caused an accident, but that's not the worst part. Crazy pickup truck driver thought that it would be a good idea to run a red light. Needless to say, he definitely had better ideas during his lifetime. road rage between two drivers, because one of them clipped another one as he passed by. Check out this crazy encounter between the two.
driver in a red pickup truck was making a turn and no one could predict what he was about to do next. Pay close attention at his crazy maneuver because he decided to reverse all of a sudden and the driver who pulled out onto the road was not expecting it. crazy driver who ran a red light and paid a heavy price for that. car theft, or at least an attempted one. Check out how this thief failed. Looks like just your another usual day, nothing special going on, just a guy carrying his bags and walking around, when all of a sudden a police vehicle pulled him over and they detained him without even asking any questions and started checking his belongings. Check out this crazy situation. This truck driver casually parked in a bike lane, and when the cyclist was trying to pass by, he caught the driver red-handed, and it came to a heated road rage between the two. You honestly parked in a sofa line, lad, to go and get a pack of fags? Yeah. Oh, fair play then. Uh, G021 2AF. Yep. Yeah. I don't through red light. What, what kind of excuse is that for you to park in a sofa line? Solid work line, sofa line. Yeah, yeah. So that's the yellow oil license. Yeah. 
this through the driver pulled out in front of the biker without bothering to look left nor right. And of course, moves like this can easily cost the biker a crash. And he was rightly angry at the driver. But for some other reason, the driver's fragile ego was hurt, and it came to a raging argument. Mas qual filme todo? Mas tens que te mandar e tu não me viste. Por favor, digo eu, meu. Olha lá, desculpa lá, desculpa lá, só uma coisa. Mas desculpa, em... porquê é que não reconheces o erro? Porquê é que não reconheces o erro e pedes desculpa em vez de estás a mandar vir? Mas porquê é que não reconheces o erro? Não reconheces que fizeste merda? Eu estou tranquilo. Eu estou tranquilo. Agora, foda-se, não comeces a mandar vir, meu. Mas eu estou a ser prático, não estou não aqui a arranjar a merda agora, foda-se. Não arranjar a merda. Tipo, se eu me atravessasse, eu disse que eu me atravessasse, na boa, porque é que vamos complicar? Não é? Pá, mas não estamos a complicar. A questão. Não fiz manobra nenhuma radical, mas foda-se, meu, vês que vem um gajo. É só travar um bocadinho, mas estou na paz, meu. Onde é que meu? Pronto, tranquilo. Não me ia atirar para a frente nem por quem briga, de bota desde quase de nascer. Respeito super. Se fosse daquela aí, eu vou meter a tirar a mandar o gajo ao chão. Não, tipo, fiz para daquela base, ok? Está bem, meu, mas um gajo vem na faixa, é só chato. Não, sabe, é o perito, desculpa aí, mas. Não, mas é tranquilo. Estou okay? vale, tranquilo, não fica chateado nem nada, é só tipo. É preciso um gajo ter cuidado, não. Só isso. Instead of paying attention at the road ahead, the Java that was behind the camera was distracted by his phone, and as a result, he rear-ended the vehicle. Truck driver was apparently not happy that the camera changed lanes in front of him, so he started to accelerate. But that's not all. Check out what happened after that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you don't secure your load properly. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. We as drivers definitely need to do a better job at paying attention at traffic lights. Whenever you run a red light, you put yourself at risk of causing an accident. Road driver treated a biker as he didn't even exist on the road. And the biker, well, he made sure to retaliate. Check out what happened next. Heated road rage. 
in which a self-entitled driver dangerously overtook the camera, and the rest you are about to witness. is about to happen to a FedEx truck driver who was about to pass the camera. He got a blown tire and it was a nasty one and he almost crashed. Check out how it all looked like. Jack, I think we probably still have the DRS on that. И упорство помогли ему сделать головокружительную карьеру финансиста и банкира, которую затем он сменил на путь политика. Crazy road rage, in which a driver blocked the bike lane, and when the biker confronted him, this guy went completely nuts. Check it out. Yeah, that's what you did the first time. Let's call the police right now. Do what you need to. The police will be here. You see the camera? I know you don't care. That's why the police are coming for you, sir. Hey, you were blocking the lane. I'm sorry I didn't get hit by a car to avoid your punk ass. Little 
I'm right here! Nine one one emergency. You can hold it if you want so you can see the right glare. It's coming up after this light turns green. It's not far after that. But it's hard to slide exactly where. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, he gave me 12 inches between me and the cars. So here we go. Like, I'm not even paying attention. All of a sudden you'll hear screeching before you see him. Yes, sir. I'm gonna ask you something. Yes. All right. Like I said, at the very uh, least, we'll go ahead and document this for you. But it's it's up to you how far you want to push the envelope. And in, in, in my opinion, um, it just doesn't look very good for either of you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I mean, if you want to go ahead and press charges, that is your right. If not, you can sign a waiver of prosecution. We'll go ahead and document this for you. Hey, and, if uh, you just got to call and, and say, hey, we on. saw a video of you jump out of your car with a hammer right. at somebody. You need to stop that shit. Okay. Okay. We do nothing. Hey, gotcha. you can't do that. All right, so Hopefully if you, you want to go ahead later. and pursue charges or you want to go ahead and just sign a waiver of prosecution? I'll time. find a waiver. Just to give them a warning call, I'm happy. Semi-truck drivers and bus drivers are supposed to be professionals and other drivers in traffic look up to them because they dedicate their whole lives driving and sitting behind the wheel. But this bus driver here was not paying attention and because of that, he rear-ended the driver. Crazy Karen nearly hit the biker on purpose, and if he didn't move to the left, she would have definitely got him. And when the biker pulled up to her to talk about it, she read her engine. What is normal la cap? Stay, 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 stay. Hai că te la pun să te măta de proastă. Driver in front of the camera was too busy paying attention at his phone instead of the road ahead, and that came with a heavy consequence. Heated road rage between some pickup truck drivers. Check this one out. Driver in front refused to move, and all because he got assaulted, and he was probably on the phone with the cops. This cyclist was just trying to mind his own business and enjoy a nice day cycling on his bike. But unfortunately, a crazy driver had to spoil it all. Make sure to stick till the end for this one, because it's going to be epic. Here you can see the erratic driving from this crazy driver. He tried to push the biker off the road on multiple occasions, and this can be characterized as an assault with a deadly weapon. Check out what happened after this when they both stopped at the next traffic lights.
camera came to the traffic lights and, since it was red, he stopped. But the driver who approached him from behind didn't bother looking since he was too busy checking his phone and it came to a rear-end accident. The road rage between a cyclist and a pedestrian. Check out how it all unfolded. This crazy driver dangerously passed the cyclist and he beat him to the next traffic lights. He didn't go that far, but he made the cyclist really upset because he didn't want to share the road and the crazy road rage took place. Hey dude, what's your problem man? Can't you see what's going on? Did you race me to the rice to the light? Did you race me to the light? Did you beat me? Did you beat me to the light? What's your problem fool? What's your problem? You can't see what's going on? I'm passing other and cyclists oh, and assholes are turning in. So go yourself. Hey, we, we can take the lane just so you know, sir. Yeah, but not on the footprint. Yes, yes. We can take the lane. That's go the read a book. That's the law. Get the out of here. It's a book. Yeah, it's called the driver's ed book. Maybe you can learn how to drive then. Really? You're the one honking at the cyclist if he's in the middle of the road. We own the lane. It's called share the road. That's the law. Bro, Where are you? That's the Law. It's called share the road with cyclists. Go read it. He's not making it up. Where were you going? You beat me to the red light. You're a man. Whoa, you G. So why are you honking at me then? Really? It's dangerous? You're the you're the reason why I'm in the lane because of people like you that won't wait wait for two seconds for somebody to get out of the fucking road. You couldn't see what's going on because you're not paying attention. No, obviously not. You would have seen that there were cars pulling over and the cyclists on the right and there were plates. Really? You're the big guy in harassing a cyclist. What a you are. Get the fuck out of here, man. Go ahead. Have a nice day. You happy? Again, we have a similar situation as in the previous video. Cyclist was simply minding his own business, but this angry Karen in a Tesla trying to intimidate him. But it didn't go quite as she planned it. Jeep driver was moving at a high rate of speed, and the camera caught some really interesting on his dash cam. Stick around to see what's about to happen to the Jeep driver here.
hectic road rage between a cyclist and a BMW driver. Check out how it all unfolded. This cyclist was not pleased with the way this driver was driving and at the next traffic lights they both pulled over and the cyclist confronted him about it. Make sure to pay close attention what he had to say because I believe that we all can learn from this. Is there a reason you can't slow down behind me? Huh? You can't slow down behind me? You know, there's no guy pushing you. You're driving, right? You're driving, right? You have control of your vehicle? Okay, that is not how you pull over and stop. You need space? I need space too, right? I'm a grandfather, I have four grandkids. You want to be responsible for me having to go out and get hit by some other asshole? So respect me. Respect, I work for a living. I'm an electrician. I barely have a day off to come out and ride. I gotta put up with you that can't wait two seconds to pull over. Leave me some space, man. Don't do it to me. Just say you're sorry man tell me you can do it again to somebody please brother i'm telling you as a just a person don't drive like that it takes two seconds to save a life man you have a big truck right you have a lot more way to slow down traffic than i do what am i i'm exposed to everything you got all this protection protect me like you protect your grandkids in here Please. Yes, Good day, my friend. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. One driver was not bothered that he was entering the corner. Instead of taking a turn, he simply kept on moving straight to hit the road barrier. an epic road rage between two drivers over a turn signal. Stay tuned for this one. The crazy Chevy driver tried to cut right in front of the camera and cause a fight, simply because the camera indicated while making a lane change. This didn't sit quite well with the Chevy driver for some odd reason and it came to a heated confrontation.
who made a risky left turn and even though his view was blocked, he still managed to do it and that came with a lot of consequences. Cameron was just minding his own business, but all of a sudden it came to a heated and a crazy road rage between him and another driver for unknown reasons. From what I managed to see, the camera did absolutely nothing to upset this crazy driver, but boy oh boy was he mad over something. For whatever reason, this guy decided to open his window, threatened the driver and even spit at his vehicle. He threatened him to pull over to the side of the road to fight and the raging situation was far from over. Stay tuned. Eventually, this crazy driver kept the camera off and he pulled over to the shoulder, but the camera was smarter than that and he didn't want to get into some unnecessary trouble, more than needed. Cameron was just trying to mind his own business here, but what about this for a reckless move from a Mustang driver? He made a turn without bothering to indicate nor look at his mirrors. This is unbelievable. I cannot take this job. So I had a very clear vision of where I wanted to go with my acting career, so I felt kind of like this is in my way. It is will be a sight and thing that, that it would take me away. We have a similar situation as in the previous video. One driver was not slowing down at the red lights, and sure enough. He blew the red and caused an accident. Command. Say a command. Say video. These types of things can only be seen in New York. Camera caught a rather crazy NPC pedestrian on his dashcam who was even approaching his vehicle without the camera's permission. <laughs> That's a zombie right there. <laughs> you probably would have came up to the car too, like poof. This crazy driver caused a double hit and run and it was all caught on the camera.
good because a lot of them they've just been reused. But they're out there. What year are you looking for? 31. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll be a little harder than 55, I think. But you see, oh, oh, this guy. Oh, oh look out, everybody. Driving on wet and slippery roads is always dangerous and therefore you should always adjust your speed limit accordingly to them. And with this video, we conclude our best of the year episode on Cordon Dash Game Channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and learning something valuable out of this. It's been a rough year for all of us, and we wish you a happy new year. May it be better than the previous one. Make sure to leave a like if you like this, and of course subscribe and click on the bell button. And until the next one, drive safe, and we'll be seeing each other in the upcoming year.